Hi there, welcome to TechAbit. In today's video, I'm going to explain about how SIM card works and what is an eSIM. Before I get started, I request you to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you won't miss any of our future updates. At first, we made telephone calls using landlines, which is a wide communication. And then we moved on to mobile phones. In mobiles, we have two types, CDMA and GSM. CDMA is a standalone device which will not have any dedicated SIM card slot. The device itself will have a unique identification number called electronic serial number. The carrier or the telecom operator used to add this ESM number to their pool so that the user gain access to their network. But on CDMA, you need to stick to your smartphone. If at all you want to change your mobile number to a new smartphone, you need to contact your carrier or the network operator so that they will add this new ESM number to their network. And the other one is GSM, Global System for Mobiles. It is the one which works on the SIM based model. SIM stands for Subscriber Identity Module. When you insert your SIM card and power on your smartphone, the phone gathers IMSI. International Mobile Subscriber Identity and then sends to the carrier. The carrier generates a unique code and then it uses this unique code and maps with authentication key and generates another code. It sends the first unique code to the mobile phone. The mobile phone uses this unique code and then the authentication key in the SIM card to generate another unique code. If the second and third unique codes are matched, then you will gain access to the network. This is how a SIM card works. A typical SIM card will have less than 1 MB storage, which can store few contact numbers and a unique 64-bit code. This 64-bit code will have your country code, carrier code, and a unique SIM card number which will be mapped to your mobile number. In case if you lost your SIM card or mobile device, the carrier will give you a new SIM card number and they'll map this SIM card to your mobile number. So in GSM, you can easily swap your SIM card between different smartphones. These days, we are using eSIMs. ESIM stands for embedded SIM. We can call this as a smart SIM. These eSIMs are embedded in the device itself. I mean you can't take this SIM out of that device. For example, these days Apple watches are coming up with these eSIMs. I mean with this eSIM, these devices can act as a standalone mobile device. You can make calls, receive messages and you can use mobile data. When you buy a new device with eSIM, you will get a QR code which you need to scan with a dedicated app. Instantly your eSIM gets activated and you can start using that carrier or network. As I said, this eSIM is embedded on the chipset of the smart device. If there is any problem with your device, you need to hand over your device for service. In case if you lost your smart device, you also lost your eSIM. So again, you need to buy your smart device and map your eSIM to your mobile number. So this entire process seems to be complicated for now. I hope in future there will be easy way of doing all these things. That's all folks, I hope now you know how a sim card works and what is an eSIM. If you enjoyed watching our video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to receive the notifications of our future videos. Talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks.